Hey everyone, Paul DC here, and today we are in a very different and special place. Actually, these mountains, or better called uh, sierras, are the place where this video that will pop up here took place. Where uh, I dare to say a close encounter of the fifth kind took place a couple of years before. But today we are going to discuss what you have just seen in the video's thumbnail as well as its title. I'm Paul DC. I write, speak, and talk about spirituality, consciousness growth, awakening, and all other kind of related topics. So you can subscribe to this channel here below and also stay tuned for my weekly newsletter where I basically write about the same things you will see on my videos. So without further ado, today we are going to discuss actually the fact that dumb people are making money and what pisses most people off is that paradoxically dumb people or what society considers dumb people are actually making far more money than what society once again deems as smart people this whole uh, paradigm and paradox at the same time is bothersome for many. We've even seen uh, news articles or coverage in the media about how um, uncanny or even irrational ways uh, younger people are using or exploiting to make money and quantities of, of money that far surpass what perhaps a baby boomer was able to save up in his entire lifetime. So that's what makes this even more bothersome for, for these people. But it all hinges on a very distorted way of actually uh, interpreting reality, which is the man-made, the good old man-made mistake of interacting with the world, reality, and other people through labels. We are equipped to read reality from a more truthful uh, point of view, but still, modern society, more so in the Western world, is completely addicted to put labels on everything and everyone. So, when you start living life through labeling things and not relating to the true essence of that other thing, whether it's an object or a person, all that thing, all the complexity of that truthful essence comes down in your brain and in your mind to just that label and then once you gather a certain a number of labels on different things on politics economics your colleagues your family members and even sometimes your um, your loved ones you start placing these labels in different boxes these are good things for me these labels go into the good box and these things may not be so good for me so these group of labels may go into the bad things box so labeling is a very shallow way of going about life but it has become the main way to go about life so once you start living by labels they are not only working on an individual level societies and collective groups of people whether they are divided by region country culture, religion, or whatever, they tend to share the same kind of labels and they tend to categorize those labels in the same categories, like these are good things, these are bad things. These things are uh, wrong or not good for our religious goals. These things are not good for our economic goals. And this way, generations like uh, Gen Zers, Millennials, Baby Boomers, they all run in, the, in kind of like the same groups of labels, of shallow ways of perceiving and interacting with reality. And the only way to cut through this is to actually delve into spirituality, any sort of spiritual practice, so you can actually perceive the true essence of those other things that you substitute with man-made labels. But in this case, there's been a kind of like this old paradigm of baby boomers where the only way to go about life and to reach success 
and to uh, achieve professional success was to uh, go to college, uh, study a traditional career, and then work your ass off from nine to five for 40 or 50 years until you can retire doing that exact same thing that was aligned with your career path. And that was kind of like a, a, a Henry Ford's car production line where everything was following exactly the same model. Uh, people were not valued because of their uniqueness as long as they fall into place like just another cog in an infinite machine that produces no one knew what it produces as long as you worked as that very specific cog in the larger system so what this produced is a very interesting uh, era where people back in the day decades ago made a lot of money and uh, claimed to be super successful but as many people were born into this devious system it came a point where this baby boomer type of lifestyle or, or professional uh, let's say pathway no longer uh, was profitable so you have people that uh, got buried up in debt just to pay for college degrees thinking they were going to land better executive jobs thanks to that uh, to those degrees and then that didn't pan out and then in fact they were uh, massively fired with the last uh, firings that we've seen uh, taking place in the I don't know technology industry and other more traditional industries as well so the main model just broke away so someone that went to college for four years uh, got like two hundred thousand dollars in debt and were uh, fired from one of the top four consulting firms now they are just left completely alone wondering what am I supposed to do with my life and on the other hand, at the same time, younger generations that they kind of were brought into this world with a different chip, a different DNA, a DNA ready to question everything and say, hey, this model that is not even working, why should I follow it? Because my parents say so, because society says so, or religion says so. No, F that. I'm going to find my own way. And that's how you see people I don't know, bringing a million dollars overnight, basically doing some crazy thing with NFTs. I'm not talking about the scams. I'm talking about these cases that even break the news cycles and people say, hey, how could this kid with a, perhaps not even a high school degree yet uh, bring this amount of money? So instead of trying to learn spiritually from uh, this new landscape or space, that the modern war and technology has given to creativity so creativity can express into this realm your true purpose or your true gifts instead of embracing that people just reject these new ways of making money and they even put once again another silly label another silly shallow label to it by claiming that dumb people are making money so to me, they are not only not dumb people, they are just people like everyone else. They are the heroes of today. They are the people paving the way for even younger generations to uh, dare to follow their inner callings, their inner ways of expressing their uh, consciousness through creativity, their own gifts expressed through creativity as well, and bringing something new into this world so they can inspire everyone else perhaps what you may deem as something silly may be super inspireful for another kid growing up in another corner of the world you don't know the ways that consciousness and the creation works but we have to learn to move past and beyond these man-made silly labels all they do is place ourselves and uh, our full potential in very tiny boxes so we basically live and die within the confines of these very limited boxes and that is just sad because we have the potential to do so much more you don't have to follow the social uh, the current social paradigm just because be ready to question things and 
here's the tricky thing where the entire thing of these old-fashioned patterns being forced on people uh, and their lives start to fall apart and crumble because now people are demonizing these uh, dumb ways of making money but there's something that no one is talking about where some of these old let's say baby boomer style type of uh, career pathways or life pathways some people that are trapped in this are trying now to imitate the so-called dumb people ways of making money so they can just make money themselves which traps them into another paradox which is stop measuring everything through money try to chase your own creativity as a vessel or vehicle to express your gifts your consciousness and align yourself with your purpose so we have very uh, irrational people that were forced into the old ways of society they failed as a professional economically as a person they do not feel fulfilled they criticize the other new ways of making money by labeling them as the dumb ways of making money and dumb people that make money this way and they get angry with these people but at the same time because they measure everything through money it, it is the only way they build their status their personality and their identity that on the shadows when no one else is seeing they try to imitate these very same ways so this is an extremely unconscious cycle of basically seeing life and living life all it takes once again to cut through all these unconscious bs is to first stop measuring everything through money comparing through money and even stop comparing yourself as a person to another person and forget the old dogmas of society of how society tells you things or ways should be uh, done or accomplished just try to delve deeper embrace the search within connect with your purpose and then let it express in whatever way that may be whether there is a dumb way or a more traditional way it doesn't matter there are no dumb ways when it comes to consciousness and purposes expressing themselves in this physical reality so i, I hope this conveys the main message and point of view on this angle so you can now clearly see how you should uh, follow up or take action onto your next project business idea relationship or anything this applies to everything in life so once again if you enjoyed this video hit the like button below you can subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you can actually become aware every time i upload a new video also do not forget subscribe to my newsletter to get all these pieces of content in writing every thursday serve fresh at 8 30 a.m est on your inbox and basically that's it stay tuned for the next one